When you think of the heatsink that comes with a new CPU, you probably envision a sad little hunk of metal that doesn't manage to keep your processor that cool in spite of its fan that sounds like a freaking jet engine. And overclocking? Ha! Huh, forget about it. Fortunately, AMD has heard the cries of its users who have been plagued in the past by high temperatures and loud fans and rolled out a new line of stock coolers for Ryzen called Wraith. Not only has testing indicated that these coolers deliver pretty solid performance, as long as you're not doing any extreme overclocking, but that they also stay relatively quiet under load. So then, now that we have a line of three stock coolers that looks like it's actually better than the 15 pieces of flare bare minimum, let's have a closer look at each of them and show you how to install them. The smallest of the three is the Wraith Stealth, which comes with Ryzen 3 chips as well as the Ryzen 5 1400. It's designed for 65 watt TDP processors and looks strikingly similar to an Intel stock cooler with its low profile and round body. Now, if you step up to any Ryzen 5 chip that does include a cooler or a Ryzen 7, you will instead get a Wraith Spire which looks like a taller stealth. This one is rated to handle up to a 95 watt TDP processor and is even useful for modest overclocks. If you go for the Ryzen 7, your Spire will actually come with an RGB ring that is customizable with AMD software. The really heavy hitter of the bunch is the Wraith Max, which boasts 140 watts of heat dissipation and a heat pipe design, something we haven't seen much of in the past. It also comes with a programmable RGB ring. Pretty sexy. Unfortunately, these aren't actually sold with any retail box CPUs, and the only official way to get your hands on one is to buy a pre-built system. So then, there are actually two entirely separate mounting methods here, both of which require thermal compound for your CPU, unless the pre-applied stuff is still on there. If you're installing a Wraith Max or an aftermarket cooler that still uses the classic clips that have been with us since the Socket 754 days, you can go back and watch this really old tech quickie, or you can just not bother. Position the clip around the mount and just push the lever around and down for a nice secure fit. If you're using the Spire or the Stealth, you'll need to unscrew the clip mounts, leaving behind a backplate, which comes standard on all AM4 motherboards. Then you just screw in the four built-in screws on the Stealth or Spire, making sure to use a crisscross pattern to avoid putting too much pressure on one side of the CPU. Both of them then require plugging your fan into the CPU header on the motherboard, then, if applicable, you connect the included RGB cable to either a USB 2.0 header or an RGB header on your motherboard so you can sync with the rest of your system. And that's it! So have you guys used a stock Wraith cooler with your Ryzen CPU? Let us know down in the comments below how your experience has been so far, and let us know if you'd like to see some more Ryzen-centric videos. Tunnel Bear VPN lets you tunnel through one of 20 different countries, allowing you to browse the internet and use online services as though you are in a different country. They have easy to use apps for iOS, Android, PC, no, I don't actually have one of those, and Mac, and they've also got a Chrome extension. Just choose a country in the app, turn Tunnel Bear on, and boom! Your connection gets encrypted with AES 256-bit encryption, and your public IP address gets switched, so you can show up as though you're some anonymous dude in some other place, or dudette, as it were. Tunnel Bear has a top-rated privacy policy, and they do not log user activity, so, Try it out. You can try Tunnel Bear VPN with 500 megs of free data with no credit card required just by going to the link in the video description. Then you can get a year of unlimited data with 10% off by going to tunnelbear.com slash Linus. So thanks for watching. If you guys liked, like. If you disliked, dislike. If you want to check out our other channels, you do that, pirate. Pirate, you know, man. 
pirate. If you want to leave a comment with suggestions for future videos, you can do that too. And if you want to subscribe, well, I'd be very grateful.